Hello guys, I am Wyatt the Nerd and today I will be reviewing the Justice League special Comic Con footage which is basically the Comic Con trailer for the new DC movie coming out next year called Justice League. And man, this movie looks really good. And so yeah, before we get into the review, I just want to say that I love DC more than Marvel. So yeah. I mean, I do love Marvel, but I just like DC more than Marvel. So if you think I'm a Marvel fanboy, uh, just just remember that I'm a DC fanboy. So yeah, let's get into the review. Um, I, you know what this trailer reminds me of? It reminds me of the Avengers. I mean, this trailer is like just it just reminds me of Marvel and the Avengers. Or any like movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it just reminds me of that. Or it just reminds me of, of a Marvel movie. That's what it just reminds me of. And you're probably like, well, why to know? What do you think of this? I actually like it. I mean, this could be a good direction that they're going with, making the movies more lighthearted. Because in the last movie, they had Batman v Superman. Man, that was such a jerk movie. There was barely no humor, and yeah, and everybody hated it. So, I'm glad DC learned their lesson and then make their movies more lighthearted and be like what Marvel's been doing. Make their movies more lighthearted. You know what I hope they're not doing? I hope they don't, uh, like, copy Avengers Age of Ultron. Because you know what Age Avengers Age of Ultron did? They had the jokes during the fight scenes. What the heck? I mean, when Iron Man was about to get killed, uh, Iron Man was like, oh, don't hit me. And then he kept just making so, some stupid puns and some stupid jokes and during this intense fight scene. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Hulk one. Yeah, that one's it's a pretty good fight scene, but the only thing I hate about it is the jokes. And that's an example of what Avengers Age of Ultron does. And I hope that Justice League doesn't do it. But, I mean, I just hope they just do what, like, uh, Marvel films do. Like, for example, uh... The Avengers. I hope they just don't do jokes during the fight scenes. And I hope they don't like do what Avengers J. Devaltron did. I just hope they did what the Avengers did. Have some pretty good jokes and during your fight scenes make it dark. And I hope this is what they do. And yeah, I like how they're going with the Marvel style and making their movies more lighthearted. I mean, I have to get used to it because uh like the Batman v Superman trailers, they're super dark in this. And compared to this, uh, like trailer, this trailer's like very lighthearted. So I had to get used to it. I'm like, man, I'm so used to Batman v Superman because it's so dark. I mean, there was basically no humor in it. And I'm like, well, I have to get used to this lighthearted tone. And I like it. I'm glad they're doing it. And hopefully, uh, this will show that they learned their lesson from Batman v Superman. And, I mean. To tell the truth, the trailers of Batman v Superman, they're super dark, but I love them. They're like one of my favorite trailers. I mean, they're probably even better than the whole movie. Just think about it, trailer better than the movie. Wow. But, let's just get back to the Justice League trailer. Um, I thought, I mean, I love how they're going with the Marvel direction, and I hope it turns out good. So, yeah. Uh, other good stuff about it is that Batman... He looks awesome in this. And Wonder Woman. She looks awesome in this. And Flash. He looks awesome in this. And Cyborg. He looks awesome in this. And guess what they're adding? They're adding Aquaman. And let me just tell you something. Um. Like, let me just add some stuff about these characters. Uh. Flash's costume is awesome. I know there's some people that hate it. But I actually love it. I think it's a really cool costume. Cyborg's. I kind of like the costume, but they should work on a CGI because it just looks fake. But I bet you could make it more real. Just try to make it more real. Don't just. I mean, it just looks like they just put some like some bad CGI over his face and on his body. It makes and they think it's real, but to tell you if it's not, Aquaman. He looks awesome. I mean, like a year ago, I used to hate Aquaman, and now it's like. You know what? I'm starting to like Aquaman. 
I mean, he actually could be a pretty cool superhero. And I mean, Aquaman looks awesome. And, man, I just can't wait for this movie. You're probably like, well, where's Superman? He's like a part of the Justice League. Well, uh, well, I shouldn't give away spoilers, but he should be in it. I would bet you he should be in it, but I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen in Justice League. I bet he's gonna, I bet he's gonna be like in the middle or it. I don't know, but I bet he's gonna be in it. So just don't think Superman's not gonna be in it. Yeah, I bet he is. But don't trust me. Just be hopeful. But yeah, this movie does look awesome. And yeah, I forgot to talk about one thing. Okay. Uh, in one part of the trailer when Batman was like talking to, or Bruce Wayne was talking to the Flash, uh, it's like, it was kind of like the Iron Man and Spider Man conversation and Captain America Civil War. <laughs> and man, I mean, the Flash acts like Spider Man in Captain America Civil War. I, mean, I don't have a problem with that, but I mean, I think it's gonna be. I think he's pretty funny, but I don't really. I don't know if DC's actually copying Spider-Man from Captain America: Civil War, but I don't know. But the guy just acts like it. I mean, it's like they directly copy it. Like, it's like okay, you know, in Captain America: War. Oh no, Captain America: Civil War. When uh, Tony Stark asks uh, Spider-Man to uh, like join his team and that's what Bruce Wayne did in this tra trailer to ask the Flash to join his team I mean it kinda feels like that Justice League is copying Captain America Civil War but I don't know I mean I just kinda find it really weird that they're doing it but let me just tell you like the slow motion scene they did in this trailer it's pretty cool it's not as like it's not like quick silver cool like in X-Men Days of Future Past, but it's just, you know, I mean, I bet, I bet they're going to have something just like what Quicksilver did in X-Men Days of Future Past. I bet they're going to have one of those, like, slow motion scenes. Like, you know how he's fast, so I bet they're going to have that. But, I mean, the only problem, like, I have with this trailer, the huge problem I have with it, is that it's not like the... It doesn't really have a lot of stuff in it. I mean, you're probably like, whoa, why the nerd? Why do you want so much stuff from it? Just wait. I know I have to wait, but I mean, I bet the next trailer for Justice League is going to be a lot better because it just showed a few clips. And it kind of felt like they kind of rushed the trailer. Not saying it was bad, but it kind of felt like they rushed the trailer. Like, it was almost Comic-Con, and, and, like, they asked them, somebody to, like, Hey, uh, Comic-Con is almost here, so you need to edit a trailer for Justice League very fast. It kind of feels like that that's what happened, but I don't know. It's probably just me. But hope, but I can't wait till the next trailer. It's probably going to have a lot more stuff I want to see. I'm not saying this trailer was bad, but it's not, like, everything you would expect. Don't have your hype, like, hopes high for this trailer. Just, just treat it like a normal Comic Con trailer because it's not gonna be. It's not like the best trailer ever, but it is still a pretty good trailer. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and check out this trailer in the i below or in the link in the description. So yeah, boy. Oh wait, I don't mean the i below, but I mean like the i up here. So yeah. Bye.